we are here with the legendary Melina. Hi, how you doing? We asked the fans what their favorite Melina moment is. We're gonna reveal them. It was really difficult to choose five, so bear with me. So we're gonna start with number one. This was a very unique situation. What's your memory kind of learning that you'll be winning this match? The sad part is, is even though it seems like, you know, I should be really excited about this, and I really kept it together for this match, but all I did the whole entire day was cry because of Eddie Guerrero's passing, and to be able to like to keep, you know, keep my cool, and to be able to be the character to play this part, was really hard for me. It was like really awful to think like, okay, I have to pretend everything's okay, even though the, one of the people that I, I like, I looked up to so much is now dead. It was one of my dreams, of course. You get, you become a wrestler, so then you can have a moment like this. And then to be able to have it, it's like, whoa, whoa, it's happening. Like, it's, it's just very, um, I was in awe of the moment. A lot of people really cherish this moment. It's because Edgar, of course, is a big representation of Latino wrestler and also you being from Latino community. I think fans really love that kind of uh, connection there. Oh, that means a lot. That, 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 to me, that means a lot to be able to have us both represent the, like, uh, the Latin community and to be able to to represent the way he did and, and like to me that means so much like especially like for what he meant to me so it's just like a it's a big deal it means a lot oh that makes me happy that they picked this <laughs> <laughs> number two favorite moment is oh this is a night of champions match with michelle mccool of course one of the most memorable matches in your career, what do you think? Why did she have to kick me off the <laughs> the apron like that? Jeez. I don't even know if this was the first time she did it or the second time. I think she actually did um, get me twice at one point. And so the third time I was like, you're not going to do it again. <laughs> no! DDT! Melina McCool thought wrong. I can't believe Melina's even able to... Oh, what a primal scream! We love this moment, yes. Because everybody keeps asking me, they're like, did you really um, get in trouble? And it's like, yeah, we got, I think um, I think we were yelled at for it. We were so proud. What we did is we put everything together and we didn't tell people what we were going to do because we knew that we just wanted to make it something incredible. So I'm really proud of that moment. I really am. That's a good one. Let's go to the top three pig. What's your favorite match? My favorite match was with Melina and Alicia Fox. Who? Melina and Alicia Fox. I got I, I got issues with this stuff because it's like I don't understand how this is funny at all. She had her a favorite pick, and I'm sorry if people don't agree with it. I mean, I, I th look at the internet. And I think how can you say I'm a legend? I'm iconic. I should be on the Hall of Fame, and then go around and say how this is basically saying that, like in his mind he probably thinks I'm crap. And to each their own. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. I just got either way. I got paid to do a job. So it doesn't matter. I still got made money. I still made my impact on the, in um, wrestling. Anybody's opinion doesn't even matter to me. I'm still living a good life either way. He asked her what her favorite match was, not what his favorite match was. And he's going to like ridicule her for what her favorite match was. I don't care what, what your favorite match is. If, if something touched your heart that made you love what I love, what I struggled and I fought so hard to learn and to be able to, to achieve, like if somebody got to love what I love, and, and if it was a match like that, more power to her. I'm proud of her. If it's something made her love it, then that's all that matters. And this this joke is dragging on so much. And it's like, I think when it first happened, yeah, I got offended. Now it's kind of like just annoying. <laughs> it's just annoying. At the same time, either way, I'm still going to keep walking. But it's just like, it's just annoying. It's just stupid. What's your favorite moment with Alicia Fox? Every time I worked with her, was it, a gr it was a great um, moment. It's like the way she sells, the way she moves. It's like she has her own, like, bubbly personality too. To me, any moment with her was always a great moment. Top four moment, it is the I Quit match. And of course, this is my favorite. Oh, I was like, I was like, ooh, bruh, of course you're gonna do that. He smiled. This match, it's the first ever women's I Quit match and this was amazing. How was it like to get this kind of gimmick match in this era where the women didn't get that kind of opportunity? Oh, it was amazing. It was just, to me, that's where I knew 
that again I don't care what anybody says they could say like because I was in the diva era that I wasn't a good wrestler blah 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 I had to be what I was because that's what the character was so the character in the beginning was supposed to act like I didn't know any wrestling even though I went to indie school like I was going to an independent school at the school of hard knocks in San Bernardino I trained there even though I had knowledge of wrestling my character didn't know wrestling so it grew that character grew up through all this um, like all this time uh, we were only giving um, the opportunities we were allowed so to have this opportunity in an in a era where you know people were ridiculing divas to me that's where I knew that you know I worked hard for this moment I knew that they trusted us that we were that good to be able to ha be handed a moment like this and to make history like that. You know, you can't take that away. Like, that's such a beautiful feeling. Is there any other gaming match that you want to compete in? Well, I see the girls and they have all the, like, the cage matches and all this stuff. Like, it is exciting. But then at the same time, it's I'm proud of what we did because if you could tell a story within the ring without needing assisted tools like that, which it's great to have those moments, but if you do them all the time, then it's it takes away it doesn't mean anything like the match itself doesn't mean anything and then you use that instead of actually telling a story so i do i, I do would want to be able to do something like that of course like that'd be awesome but at the same time it's like yeah hey, it is what it is and we didn't get it but that would be a cage that, like yeah that would be that yeah. would be awesome and then the last favorite moment And this is not just about this moment. Your entrance was so iconic. How did you come up with that? <laughs> oh, my entrance? It was an accident, kind of. So I knew I could do the splits. And I didn't, at that point in time, I didn't want to do it as a move because I was like, well, who's going to split? Like, that's not, as a move, it does, it's not serious. So I did the, the splits. Like, the guys were asking me, they're like, well, you need to come up with a sexy entrance. And then John and um, our friend Skyfire, so Seth was trying to tell me, he's like, you like, you could do this. They're just like r stroking the ropes, doing this. They're like, you gotta find something sexy to do. And I'm just looking at them like, okay, well, how about this? And I just like jumped and did it. And they're like, oh, oh, that'll work. No, that'll work. That's good, that's good. The question is, can you still do it? Yeah! I did it just two days ago at, the um, at one of the bars out here in um, New York. <laughs> she still got it. And then this is not top five moment, but I had to ask you. Is there a past WWE superstar that you would love to get in the ring with? Molino. Molino. Oh, she's yeah. got a better split than you do. Naomi picked you as a dream opponent. What was your reaction watching this? Oh, I wanted to hug her face off. Like, that's so sweet. I would love to have a match with her. I would love it. And she's such a good person that it's like, I know that we could make magic together. Because people who are who are appreciative and want to work with you, there's nothing like it. When people don't want to work with you, it's like it makes for crappy matches. And the people feel it. Like the fans feel how like say me and Mickey had the most amazing matches. I'm surprised me and Mickey aren't on here. Balls count anywhere match was definitely on the list too. Melina and Mickey are Mickey. Woman handling. Melina the over the cup. Oh, oh, no disqualifications in this false count this title match. Oh, it, it's oh, good, good Lord. The world. I'm sorry that I didn't put it, but okay. me and Mickey, we had the like great matches together. We had such great chemistry, and that's because we were, you know, we're friends and we love each other and we loved what we did and we just the creativity between the both of us was just so amazing. So I feel like it's gonna be the same way with Trinity. Her eagerness, her wanting to um, to work and then her, her being a great person as well as being so creative that it's just, it's, it would be a beautiful thing if we ever had a match. Honored like she even said that. I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> thank you so much, Melina. Is there one thing that you wanna tell your fans? Aw, oh, I wanna tell you guys thank you for everything. You probably know from the Twitter and from Instagram how much you guys mean to me there are moments in my wrestling career where oh life was just hard and you guys helped me through so much so I want to thank you for everything thank you for the love thank you for the you know for the sharing memories just know that every like you guys mean the world to me so thank you <laughs> <made> me cry. <laughs>